we march. For our lands, for our families, for our freedoms, we march. This is Texas! Yay! Well guys, oh man, welcome back to the channel. As you probably realize by now, we have indeed hit 300 subs. In fact, we, uh, we kind of smashed 300. Oh man, it, it's been a little while since we talked, huh? Uh, so, you know, I was advocating, oh, who wants to be number 300, this, that, and the other. Well, uh, turns out, Mr. Tavares Starks. That's right, Tavares Starks. Congratulations, man. You are number 300. You win nothing. 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 Tra la la. But yeah, so since we last talked about, you know, hitting 300 and whatnot, I uh, actually picked up, I guess, like 11 or 12 of you guys. So. If you're new here, by God, welcome aboard. Welcome to Half Click Up. This is my channel. This is what we do. We ride a Yamaha FZ6R. And uh, we talk to ourselves. <laughs> no, no, that's not entirely true. I'm not talking to myself. Obviously, I'm uh, talking to you guys, right? About whatever the hell happens to come up. Sometimes we pick a topic and sometimes we don't. Today we have a topic. Yes, we do. Woo, man. It is less than ideal conditions, you guys, to uh, ride a motorcycle today. <laughs> As you can probably tell from the disgusting overcast sky, it is uh, freezing out here. It's like in the low to mid 40s or something. I don't know, man. It's terrible weather, though. In fact, it, uh, it actually rained a little bit yesterday, and uh, it will be raining tonight. And it's not going to stop until sometime late Sunday. And then Monday morning, the wind chill is going to be like in the teens. I mean, holy crap, you guys. So, I mean, even though it is... Oh, man, it's getting to me. <clears throat> even though it is mildly shit weather today. <laughs> I say mildly. Um, I figured today was my only chance to holler at you guys for the week and uh you know celebrate number 300 and, and then some but yeah anyway so i didn't ride yesterday and of course it it actually rained a little bit um not on the way to work or the way back home from work which you know that's typically how it goes when i decide to be you know cautious and not ride but um so i drove my truck yesterday and that kind of brings us to today's topic you guys is motorcycling and the game of chance well, let me ask you this if you ride have you ever you know you got up in the morning and for whatever reason you just decided that you weren't feeling it and if you ride you know what i'm talking about man um for whatever reason you're, you're just not feeling it you're like yeah i'm gonna drive today um uh, and in fact sometimes you might actually have like a bad feeling like Maybe a feeling of dread, maybe not literally that bad, but you just have like a bad feeling about it. You're like, you know what? I'm not feeling it at all. Just not gonna, I'm not gonna ride today. I'll just take the truck or what have you. And uh, yesterday, you know, the, the, the chance of rain was so slight that I, I almost rode. Um, I walked out to the bike. I saw it was covered in, um, in dew, which, you know, it takes time to wipe the bike down so you don't have to sit in the shit and all that but uh you know i looked at the bike it was all wet i looked at the sky you know there was like the slightest bit of fog and a little bit of mist not bad I i've ridden in way worse and if you follow me you guys know that but uh long story short i decided not to ride so fast forward to my trip to work in the truck now i don't have a dash cam so i don't have footage but uh you guys i plowed the ever-living shit out of a sheet of plywood 
with my 110 dually. I shit you not, guys. And in fact, the cattle guard on the front of my Ram is all that saved the front end from just getting smashed up. And, uh, it, it you know, man, it goes along with the, with the topic of the vlog, you guys. Like, what if I would have rode? I mean, understand, th this was, th so the truck in front of me um, rolled over this piece of plywood and like the downforce you know, from the truck flying by, it, uh, it kicked the plywood up into the air. And so the plywood, I mean, I saw it happening and you don't even have time to react, you know what I'm saying? And, and that was in a truck. I mean, imagine if I was on the bike. But anyway, so the truck goes over the piece of, pl of plywood kicking it up in the air and the plywood goes, you know, choo, 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 flying through the air and I'm in the truck so I can't go like, oh, you know, I'm in a lane on the interstate, there's cars around me. Uh, it was in the far right lane, by the way, so I couldn't have gone right. Uh, there was a car over to the left. And so anyways, um, I, I just plowed the shit out of it, man. It was crazy. I, you know, when it happens, it's like, holy shit, you know? But, uh, and, and after the fact, I really got to reflecting on it, you know, um, how terrible that would have been if I was on the bike. Uh, because the fact of the matter is, the shit flew up in the air and was like face level with me, you know? It was face level. At a minimum, it would have hit me in the helmet. Um, it, it would have hit me in the helmet for sure. It would have maybe taken the windscreen off. Who knows? Who knows what the hell might have happened? But thank God I decided to drive. And, and that's the thing about it, man. Like, what is that? Uh, and it's happened before. Never never with that severe of an apparent result. Um, and what I mean is, you know, there's been instances where I decided to, to drive instead of ride. Or I actually left later than I typically would for whatever reason, you know? It's just so crazy how turn of events and chain reactions, you know, just events, random stuff that slows you down for whatever reason. Um, and come to find out there's a bigger uh, um, uh, meaning behind it, you know? It's just so crazy to think about. Uh, whether it be divine intervention, pure chance, pure luck, maybe a mixture of all that, guardian angel, who knows? I don't know. I'm just here to tell you it's freaking nuts. Uh, what I was going to say is, you know, it hasn't always been that severe to where I actually, you know, hit something or whatever. Sometimes it's as simple as, you know, you, you know, decide to drive or you leave later than you typically would have. And all of a sudden you run into something, uh, figuratively speaking, you run into a situation like on the interstate, for example, where traffic comes screeching to a halt. And it's like, you know, there's an accident up ahead to where if you decided to drive that day, then who knows if you were on the bike you might have been in that accident and if you actually chose to ride but you for whatever reason you just happened to leave later than usual that morning um you know if you would have left on time you might have been in that accident oh wow Whew. i got kind of hyped up talking about all that if you can tell it uh it's just that's the kind of stuff that trips me out man like you don't really know what to think about it you know it's just thank your lucky stars, you know, thank God. Um, some of us, you know, are lucky enough to have somebody watching out for us, man. But anyways. Guys, that's really all about... Uh, guys, that's really about all I've got. Uh, I know that was a crazy fast come at you quick kind of topic spit it all out and it's like woo, roller coaster but uh i am gonna have to hop off the bike here in a minute because i'm going to the walmarts and i'm going to the walmarts for um asparagus and some sausage because we grill on the weekends and it's friday night and i'm gonna grill some steak and i don't have any sausage or veggies and that is just unacceptable once again, guys, thanks for riding with me. Thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for getting us over 300. Welcome to all the new subs. Welcome to the channel. Stick with me. I promise more content to come. There's always things and content and uh, events to come about, create topics, and to talk to myself. Yeah, you know. Whew. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. 
it's it's just that easy to get distracted y'all anyways it's been fun i will catch you guys on the next one peace it's been half click up i am out of here a good i'm reaching for a hand to pull me up, up. one open to it now